Hello and good afternoon from me and my very loud ticking clock. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. It's lovely to have your company. I'm on a bit of a mission at the moment to try and get scraps used up. As a crafter and card maker, I often end up with scraps. So this can be in the form of things that I've experimented with and used, or it can be the form of leftover pieces of paper. And I'm desperately trying to avoid the accumulation where you end up with a scrap box of stuff. Yes, they come in handy for projects, but I'm trying not to keep creating more and more and more scraps because eventually some of them, you know, end up in uh, the recycling. Let's put it that way. <laughs> some of them get used, but I think there's a limit as to how much we can cope with when it comes to scraps. So today I'm trying to be on a mission to use up designer series paper, which is Stampin' Up's name for scrapbook paper. Their paper is double sided, which is an advantage so that you've got kind of like a two in one pattern. I'm going to do a simple technique that some of you may have seen before, but it may be new to some others. So I'm going to show you and hopefully inspire you to give it a go yourself and to use up your scraps and your paper. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. I'm going to turn you around and get started. You ready for the ceiling? There it is. Did you see it? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I took a bit of a change of tact because um, this wasn't what I was going to do, but this ended up being what I started making after prepping for what I was going to do. So this is the hand penned uh, paper and I wanted to show you a couple of techniques with this scrappy strippy cards now like I said you've probably seen this before but that's fine come along for the ride maybe learn something new try something new so I've cut down a piece of pool party cardstock here it's a little bit smaller than my usual matter layer it's actually three and three quarters by five and a half inches hi and welcome to those joining me live good to see you do pop in and say hello don't forget you can share out the broadcast there might be crafty friends that you know of that want to join in. So this one might be a little bit messier because I'm just kind of sticking as, in fact, I'm going to move this down. Um, I'm going to, oh, I'm doing it wrong already. <laughs> Let me slide him over and come down. Oh, not much, but a touch. I'm going to bring out my silicone mat. Um, <clears throat> and then... Now, some of these aren't the same size, and I want a tiny bit... Oh, I'll leave that for now. Let's start again. Let's try this again. <laughs> okay, this time I'm going to try and put the glue on. So I find to try a horizontal look, and if you saw the description, it's a bit like bricklaying. This is what I'm kind of aiming for. So I'm mixing and matching the patterned paper, and we're going to see what we get. Now, in my original, I started chopping off the the ends already, the excess, because what you can do, that one's a bit gluey, is to then turn your scrap over and finish off the end there where you have just stuck that piece down, okay, turn it over and I'm going to cut that scrap and save that for later. And then you just keep going. So I think it's easier maybe just to apply, if you're using wet glue, apply the wet glue first. This isn't supposed to be, um, <laughs> it's supposed to be a bit more staggered, but there we go, we're going to go with it. So hi to Matt, Levine, Ellie, Lisa, good to see you all. I was going to call you up on my other device and then I can keep tabs on you all, see what you're up to. There I am. Good -o. Right. Today is a good day because it's a washing day. <laughs> the weather was kind. So I've got a couple of loads out, which is always good. You can let me know what you've been up to today. Okay, so we'll just keep going like this until we fill the card. So there's kind of no right or wrong, you could do bigger strips, smaller strips, but you want them to be manageable. So, you know, don't cut your, sell yourself too short. Now, will that go there? It's a bit gluey on there, so I'm going to leave him for now. Let's see if I can find another piece. OK. 
Okay, these aren't the exact same size, but you know what? We're going to go with it. That's how we roll around here. We go with it. See where it takes us. Now, the advantage of this is obviously you're using up those paper scraps that you might have hoarded or that you might have left over from a project. Quite often you might make something and you have bits left over. And I'm trying to avoid lots of leftover bits. And I think if you cut as you go, then it saves all the scraps at the end to know how to deal with those. So I'm hoping I will have enough. I might have to cut some more, but we'll see how we get on it's 7 a.m oh says lisa yawning she's just waking up good morning lisa thank you for joining me so early lisa <laughs> so it's just gone one o'clock here in the uk This is my usual time for coming onto Facebook on a Tuesday. Now, while I remember, I'm not around next Tuesday, but um, I'm hoping if I'm organised, I might just be kind and schedule you a video or something for you all to enjoy. If I get organised, you never know. So it's taking shape now and hopefully you can see that lovely bricklaying pattern that's happening. Mm. Let's just tuck in a little bit there. What's this one? Oh yeah, go on then. We'll have a bit of yellow. So it's quite therapeutic, a bit like cutting paper or colouring in. Just take your time and there's no kind of right or wrong, you just leave a gap in between. I'm not being careful as to where I'm laying my strips, just making sure that I leave myself a gap. So this is the kind of gluey way of doing it. Um, I want to, if you stick around, I will show you another technique in a minute. Um, but this is, it's quite fun. So once you've done this, you can run it through an embossing folder to create texture you could leave it as it is look at that i've got just enough strips oh she doesn't know what to choose <laughs> um you I, I don't think it needs a lot you can add a simple sentiment to it you can leave it plain you can mount it onto some other card. Oh, thank you, Levine. She says, I'm loving this card already. I hope I'm in, in view. So you can do this with lots of, you know, it doesn't have to be this paper, of course. You can use whatever. And if you don't have any scrapbook paper or designer series paper, you could go around seeing if you've got any newspaper or some magazines this could work that would look rather cool i think right look at that that will fit nicely in the top there so let's do that come over a smudge okay and then we'll just finish off look at that and this is all that's left from that um, from those bits of scrap. Now that would fit nicely in the end, so let's use that. So I think as long as you just use different patterns next to each other, it could be quite effective. So you can, again, use your trimmer if you've got a trimmer, but if you haven't, you can use your scissors. And I'm just using the card as a guide. And if you put it right up against the card, you can just 
trim around the edges. Now the other thing you could do is if you got them is to use your blending brush and to brush around the edges. But I'm going to leave it as is, although there's a gap down there that I need to sort out right now. So we'll bring back that yellow piece. So like I said, stamping up paper is double-sided. It's very handy. For these kind of projects so you could just turn over the paper and decide which side you want to use i've got over my fear of sticking it now when i first <laughs> when i first got a stamp up paper um i didn't like to to glue th i was a bit sort of um what's the word i, d I didn't want to use up the other side because both sides were nice i was like oh i don't want to use that side and glue it down but you know you get enough to be able to use it lots of things so there you go um, I've got a few glue smudges, but we'll just use our special glue eraser. So th this is the great thing with silicone glue, is that you can use this glue eraser on it, and it, once it's dried a bit, you can just rub it off with that. Whereas I don't think it would do that with any other glue. Not sure. Can't guarantee it. Pretty, says Lisa. Thank you. Looks great, says Matt. Thank you. Right, so I did wonder about mounting it tone on tone, which means using the same colour card as the same as what we use. So you could do that, do a tone on tone look. So it looks as if you've put the pieces, laid them down on the card. Let's just have a little experiment, eh? And see. Okay, this is. A blushing bride that's nice makes it stand out a bit more and then because I've cut this down I think hopefully it will allow me to put a little white border which helps to break it up a bit there you go so although it's um might not need it on this one <coughs> <laughs> Now, because this paper's got white in it, I don't think it actually needs the... Oh, let's have a look. Do we need the white border? Let me just get my trimmer and make sure... Oops, this is... Make sure this is... Um, ah, Ellie says a darker backing. Okay, let's have a look at that. A darker backing. What about something like crumb cake? That could work. So are you saying a darker and then on the pink, Ellie? Or just on a darker background in general? Let me know your thoughts on that one and then I'm going to show you another card. So for this I'm going to use some scrap paper and scrap card. So I've got a stash of non stampin up card don't tell anybody um <laughs> so i'm gonna go three and three quarters by five and a half inches you could ask me what that is in centimeters aren't you 14 centimeters by about nine and a half 9.6 bermuda says ellie wow okay Let's have a look on Bermuda. I think Bermuda might be a little bit strong, but let's audition it as Ellie's here and she's asking. She's not wrong. Bermuda is quite striking. Let's try coastal, shall we? Have I got any coastal? Don't have any pre-cut. Mm. Oh, I'm quite liking the coastal cabana. Let's just try one more colour. Have I got any cuts? It's all very well having one of these, but if you don't have the colours ready. <laughs> I just want to try Kelp Pyre. No, I don't like it on that. I feel like it gets washed out. See, says Ellie, see. <laughs> Trust her on this one. I might just do it because Ellie's here and she listens to me when I talk to her on her lives. So if you want to check out what Ellie makes, head over to Ellie Mentory Paper Crafting over on YouTube. 
so you could type that in if you want Ellie for those on Facebook to see okay so I quite like that Ellie we'll, we'll go with Ellie's Ellie's choice today so the other thing you can do is actually to pop this whole thing up on dimensionals that might look quite fun um, or you can stick it flat coastal makes it pop coastal or Bermuda what do we think Where's my coastal cabana gone? I like the bride, but that looks nice too. She likes the bride. <laughs> I know what you mean, blushing bride. So get your votes in. Do you want coastal cabana or would you like Bermuda Bay? I think Bermuda Bay does make it pop, just saying. I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to bring you over to this card now. So, somewhere around here. She says, uh -huh. advantage of a tidy desk, you can find everything really easily. Okay, I'm going to cut myself down. This is um, some adhesive sheet. Now, um, Stampin' Up! now sell their own, but this is some that I still have left over from when they sold it before. So, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. If you have this adhesive sheet, you can do this. So I'm going to cut it down to the same size just thought if I did it a smidge let um, no I will cut it down to the same size so I'm going to cut it down to three and a quarter by um, hi Joanna nice to see you five and a half inches okay and then in order to help me, I'm going to use my trimmer because you're going to think, oh, why is that cut? <laughs> did I just cut that wrong? Oh, no. I did three and a quarter instead of th three and three quarters. And this is all that I've got left. Let me see if this piece is big enough. I cut it wrong. I was distracted. I might be able to, to do this. So three and three quarters. Let's try again just got enough that's right now these won't go to waste because you can use them on the back of card and you can use them for when you're die cutting so uh by five and a half thank you for those love hearts i love seeing emojis go up the side of the page right just double check that's right good we're back on track folks back on tracks right so i'm going to use my trimmer because i can butt this up to the corner of the trimmer and I'm going to peel off the whole thing like so which is quite brave and just mind your fingers because it does get a little bit of a sticky mess and then I'm going to um, put this sticky sheet into the corner stuck my thumb and then I'm going to put the card on top in the hope that it will follow suit Okay, ta-da, not bad, eh, not bad. Okay, and then this is just, you know, the rubbish bin. So I'm just going to use my bone folder to give it a good old smushing down. Make sure that's nice and adhered to my surface. Okay, so. Did you lose your, your new, um... Catalogue, Vicky, is that what you're saying? So now, if I lift this top layer up, what I should hopefully have underneath, she says, is a very sticky surface, which you can see there. So I'm not going to peel it all off, or else I've been a sticky mess. I'm just going to peel back the top of the, the backing. And I've got this paper here, which its name escapes me. It comes with the artistically inked sort of sweetie set thing oh don't stick yet don't stick yet i've not started yet okay so i'm going to do something similar and i'm not going to start fully on the the sheet because um i'll show you why in the end <laughs> just trust me on this one Okay, and same as before, I'm going to snip off those um, edges, turn them over, and then you're not left with a lot more scraps then. Okay, 
So just press that down, move it back a little bit more and then you can keep going with your layering. Why not? Let's throw a bit of gold in here, gold stripe. So this time I'm going to go horizontally, put longer brick laying. Not horizontally, vertically, up and down. I'm going to cut those ends. Best DSP ever, says Ellie. Well, hello there, Miss Jamie. How lovely to have your acquaintance with us today. <laughs> How are you? So, if you, in case you're wondering, these strips are cut down to... I think I did them about half, no, three quarters of an inch, maybe. Something like that by six inches. But, you know, use what you've got. This is the whole point of this. Use what you've got. We want to feature this nice pink one here. So, again, leaving that nice gap. Oh, uh, Jamie says, thanks for having me. I'm great. Took my first flight in two and a half years today. And you're in Adelaide for work. Great stuff. Hi, Renee. Nice to see you. Now, I wonder if I can tuck this little... Oh, can we tuck this little baby at the end? Let's have a look. Yes, we can. See? Love it when that happens. Love it. Okay, so let's keep going. Peel and reveal. Is there anyone that I've not used yet? I think this greeny one needs to be showcased. So again, just staggering without being too... without overthinking it is the word. Hi Chris, lovely to see you. Oh, keeping your company in your hotel. Always a pleasure. <laughs> I do weddings, funerals, no I'm joking. <laughs> and hotel stays. <laughs> right, how we did lane here. Let's have a look. Let's use up this straggler here. And then you might find when you get to the end, you've got lots of little pieces, but that's fine because you can either use them or don't. <laughs> so I might not use those because I want longer pieces. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's chuck this one in. Um, why are you having the gap between the strips, says my mother. Hi, Mummy. <laughs> well, yes, I think another gold piece is needed, don't you, Lisa? I did think about that and I've kind of left it a bit late now. Uh, well, you'll soon find out. Nobody give the game away yet, OK? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, partly to make it look like brickwork, but there's another piece to the story. So, if you remember, we stuck it on sticky sheet, so it'll be still sticky. So stick around for the Pierre de Résistance, she says in her best French accent. I can never say that word, and then I go and say it, and I think, you've just said it, Esther, you've just said it. <laughs> there we go. So, not bad, not bad. This is all that I've got left. Also another set of strips. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's just do something with those. Okay. So because I've used a scrap paper, like I said, um, I'm just going to go over this on my bone folder and make sure everything's stuck down nicely. I've used scrap paper because I didn't need to use that nice stamp up paper because you're not going to see it. And this is where I bring my box in my box of gold. 
I'm going to open it slowly because I'm terrible. I open it and it all comes flying out. So in here I've got my gold gilded flakes, which I keep any leftovers in. So I'll show you what the gold gilded flakes come in. They come in this here. And um, they come in larger pieces in gold leaf like this. And you can just rub it over the gaps and bridge those gaps. And we're using this as mortar for our brick lane. And just run your finger along, filling in any gaps with the gold. Um, my mum says, hello everyone, hope you're having a good time. Gold love it. You need a deeper box. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> um, I love doing this in the gap, says Ellie. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Jamie says, I like this idea, no waste. Right, I've just got a sponge here that I use for my gold. Now you might find there are a few gaps, so just come back in, stick a bit of gold in there. Particularly at the ends here, look, I can see some gaps in the bottom. Ah, I think that's where the, the adhesive didn't stick, so not to worry. So just by brushing over my sponge, it just gets takes off any excess that part of me is stuck to anywhere where you don't want it to be. And you're left with this beautiful gold inlay. Ooh, ah, shiny. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> uh, thank you for the love hearts. I'd like to try this coming concept with torn paper to mimic that Japanese concept. Yes. Now, I did do, um, in fact, I can show you. I did do that before we had the gold gilded flakes. And Jamie, you've just reminded me that would be good fun maybe to try that again. Maybe I'll have to do that tonight. So, it's in my box of cards that I need to make up. So I did try that technique with um, embossing, what was it, embossing powder and glue I think I used. So I did do that before but as you can see it still stays a little bit sticky. Kin kintsugi, kintsugi is the name isn't it? So I did try that with one paper, but yes, you are right, you've given me an idea and I might just steal back the idea and use that to try, <laughs> to try out. So yes, this is my, my experiment with it before, but I did it in a different kind of way. So that would be fun to do with the gold gilded flakes. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely job. Okay, so here's one I made earlier. <laughs> and I thought this did look nice with the white border. Um, just to, if you just put it on the card, it's it's fine, but I just think it needs something to help it pop. So I put it, cut out a white frame. I mean, you could have it this way, I guess. But in my head, I wanted it this way to show you the contrast of being able to have your brick laying either horizontally or vertically. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my bricklaying scrappy card for you today. <laughs> now Verona says, I haven't tried, hi Navarana, I haven't tried this with gilded flakes, but I have it, I have done it with glitter. Wow, imagine that. Yes. Oh, Ruth's done it already, has she? What, done torn paper? Oh, well, maybe we just go and copy. Ellie loves the horizontal. I love this. Great to make card sets for gifts, says Jamie. Yeah. So what you can do with this, like I said, you can leave it as is. I think what would be really nice is to have like a black strip with white embossing, maybe a bold sentiment, you know, like a happy birthday or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this down. So hopefully this shows you some ways of doing it. And if you don't have the gold gilded flakes, hopefully it can show you don't necessarily need them. You use what you've got if you've got some contrasting coloured card would do but if you've got something like gold or glitter or um, that sort of thing <coughs> you can do that I'm 
I'm just going to glue on the outside for the minute. Make sure it's nice and straight. There, I think it's, you know, it's important to show you different versions of, because not everybody is going to have, not everybody likes the gold gilded flakes, I know, can you believe it, not everybody likes them, <laughs> but I think it just gives that wow factor, doesn't it, gives that something, something, so let me just show you what that might look like, if I did have something like the black strip or even the black circle I think a black strip would look nice could do gold embossing maybe they've got the black is too much maybe I should stick to a strip of white just like a simple happy birthday or a thanks somewhere where it doesn't intrude too much Ooh, maybe pop up a few bricks, says Jamie. You could even do it with a faux version of mirror or glitter cardstock. So with, I can hear my garage going, I wonder if that's my UPS man. Um, with foil, gold-like foil. Um, black zigzag. Oop, what's going on with my signal? Okay, I think I'm back. Um, I could use the oval punch, says K. Black zigzag. Oh, you could do it on black. If we use the stripe on black card, that could look effective as well, couldn't it? And you, yes, you're right, you can do it like a, like that. That would look fun. So lots of ideas there, okay? So go and play. Bonjour Ruth, I'm about to pop off. Uh, broadcast keeps halting here. I think it said hating. Yes, I dropped out. A gold die cut word on vellum. Yes, you guys are full of ideas. There you go. So go and use up those scraps. Don't hoard them. Um, it's good just to get them used. Love them by using them. Um, I need a hashtag. Use those scraps. <laughs> And if you'd like to show me what you've done, um, please be inspired. Go and create. Go forth and create. <laughs> then um, you can share with me if you're on Facebook at SSC Inspired and Shared. And all these lovely papers and products are available from my online shop at stampinstylecreations.co.uk. And if you want to know more about maybe, you know, taking this hobby more seriously or joining a fantastic team, then do get in touch at stampinstylecreations at gmail.com and learn more about joining the team and actually becoming a demonstrator. Remember, you don't have to do what I do. You don't have to do this live thing. OK, but, you know, it means that you get to enjoy the product and all the perks that come with it. Thank you so much. Nice to see you, Lisa. Thanks, Esther. Good as always, she says. Such an inspiration, Esther. Great video. Thanks. Thank you, Jamie. Nice to see you. Right, lovelies, I'm going to head off. Just making sure I've not missed any comments. Take care, and I'll be back later tonight at 9 o'clock my time. Um, I might see if I can possibly do this again. Might do something else. It'll be a surprise to me, let alone you. <laughs> Take care. God bless and see you later. Bye-bye. Don't forget I'm not around next week, okay? But I'm hoping to get a video scheduled. Bye. Bye.